Welcome to the Numerology and Astrology for June 4th, 2022. Thank you for joining me. Okay, if you add all those numbers together, you get the number 16. And if you add the 1 and the 6 together, you get the number 7. The number 7 is the number of structures and strategies, the building blocks that help make sense out of this world and help, help create the great variety in this world. The number seven helps us to seek knowledge that has a rational flow and creates maps that the mind can understand and make sense out of. This is the number that wants to engage the mind in ways that promote curiosity. It recognizes that while we may not ever completely understand the mysteries of life in this domain, there is some place that it does make sense. When we use the intuitive mind as a Geiger counter for feeling into the flows of life, but then also allow the rational mind to make those flows into something that can be useful, that is the best use of this energy. Today, we may notice that we want answers and we want the truth. This is the number that wants to get at the root of something. It will make us ask questions and be willing to research the answers. The strength of this number is its ability to sort out all the data and make it useful. Fact is more important than fiction and or opinion. This number also recognizes that everyone is not ready for the truth and will keep some things hidden and secret until they feel the time is right. In the Tarot, the seventh trump card is the chariot. It reminds us that everyone is on a quest and that journey will require focus and determination. When we use this number and card wisely, we will not waver in the face of truth. We will not make up a story that prefers comfort over truth. We are reminded that to grow, we must learn to see and accept truths. Without that, we will live a shallow life and never gain a deeper understanding of our life or what the purpose of this experience truly is. Okay, the astrology today. Saturn appears to be still in the sky as it moves into retrograde. We will, we will be in this heavy reflective energy through October 23rd. Some things will appear to become more challenging. The mistakes from the past will become obvious and force us to make shifts that will require tremendous effort. We see with new eyes what our responsibility is and see that the commitments to avoid to past avoidances have now come back to bite us hard. Sometimes we must sit in the misery of what we have created. It is not fun to do that, but it forces us to understand that avoidance is often where we internalize our fears, and today they become more concentrated and obvious. The moon is in Leo, helping us to love our mistakes and accept the truth that is staring us in the face with more compassion than perhaps we would have expressed earlier. Be loving to yourself. Everyone is learning on their journey into the karmic domains. When we share our insights from the unraveling of painful patterns and that we created out of ignorance and fear, we become more vulnerable, authentic, and honest. That is how others will learn to trust us, and it helps them unravel the keys to which they, are, they too are not allowing the deeper truths to be revealed in compassionate ways. Thanks, everyone.